Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create your children's book page layout in Procreate. The first step to creating our page for our children's book would be to pick the right size. So you can go to the KDP page that has all of the trim, size, bleed, and margins, and scroll down to this part where it says examples of page size with and without bleed. So you want to click on that. You want to find the final size of your book on the left here. For this example, I'm going to do the 8.25 by 8.25. So that would be the final size of my book. And so I'm going to go over here and look at page size with bleed. And this is 8.375 by 8.5. In other words, there's an extra eighth of an inch on the top and bottom of the page, and then an eighth of an inch on whichever side of the page is on the outside of the book. So not the gutter, but the outside. So we're gonna have an extra eighth of an inch around three sides of the page. So this is going to be the size that we wanna use for our file. And we wanna make it 300 DPI. The first thing we're going to do is create our blank canvas. So you can click the plus sign and do new canvas. As we saw when we looked up the dimensions, our dimensions for this example will be 8.375 wide by 8.5 inches high. So you can click in here and make sure you select inches. And then we're going to do 8.375 and then go to height and do 8.5. The DPI is at 300, so that's good. And create. And this will be our book page. And it is important to keep in mind that you are going to have an eighth of an inch bleed around three of the edges. And if you want to create some guides for that so that you know which part is the bleed, then you can go to the wrench and turn your drawing guide on and then do edit drawing guide. An eighth of an inch is approximately 38 pixels when your document is 300 DPI. So take your grid size and make it 38 pixels. And then we can click done. The grid doesn't start perfectly on the edge, but it's pretty close to the edge here. So that should be good enough. So we're going to use our first layer that we have here. And then you can pick a color for your guide. Maybe you want it to be like blue or something. And then just pick a pretty basic brush. Just trace that line. And then when you put your finger down, it'll make it perfectly up and down with the canvas. So we can do that and then let go. And then you can go ahead and do that for all the sides. You can see that this one is really close to the top, so you can kind of eyeball it to just make it the same as the other guy. And this is kind of just a hack because as far as I know, I don't believe that Procreate has a way to actually create guides. If this were in Photoshop, you could just create the guides and just tell it, you know, how far in you want the guides to be. When that's done, you can go back to your settings and turn off the drawing guide. And then there's your guides. And then you want to make sure that your drawing is on a separate layer so that you can turn your guides off later. So we can click this layer and rename and we'll call it guides. And then for this layer, we can call it art. You can either draw your art on this layer, or of course you can do multiple layers and you can merge layers and whatever you want, but take your guides layer and you're gonna to want to be on top of all your art so you can see it. And then you can always turn your guides off to preview. The other thing you can do if you already have your art then you can drop it into this file. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to add, I'll pick this little piece of art that I actually did for another video that is a story time about my cat. <laughs> so I'm going to put her here 
and actually I do want this part to kind of extend more so I'll just show you a little hack here um, it doesn't always turn out great it kind of depends on your image and what it looks like I just selected this part to duplicate so that way I can play with it on a separate layer so I'll just go like that and then I'll put this layer underneath the top layer and I'm just going to erase a little bit here to make it blend better. So here's my artwork and one thing to keep in mind is that her tail is right here. So this is an example of where this part of the tail would actually get cut off. So the cut is going to be on or somewhere around this blue line here. So if you didn't want that tail to get cut off, then you would want to move her up and that is pretty close. So you probably have to like resize her down a little bit more actually. But Procreate already chopped off my edges so I just won't do that right now. <laughs> so this is my page and the next thing would be to add some text to it. So I'm going to go up here and under add I'm going to do add text and then first I can type my text in here and I'll say Tauntaun loved her dragonfly toy and then we can click these little letters here and we can do all kinds of settings and it is better if you rotate your iPad and that way you can have this whole panel down here and then work on your layout up here. When you're done editing the text, you can just go back to your layers panel and then click on the layer and then click edit text. Click this little A down here. This is where we can change the font and do a bunch of other cool stuff. So I'm going to pick a font here. And if you don't see the font that you want, you can also import a font. And then I'm gonna click design to change the text. So I definitely want it to be smaller. I want it to be right aligned. And then I can also just move it like this. And you can also move the size of the text box. We can change the color of the font up here. And I'm gonna move this little guy out of the way. And then we can even change the spacing between the letters, the space between the lines, which is the letting. When you're happy with it, you can click done. And notice that I did leave some margin here. So just as a little tip, you do want to leave some margin, not only so that it won't get cut off, but just for the sake of design as well. And try to make it kind of even margin on the right and the left. When you're happy with that, you can go to your layers panel and turn off your guides and then click on the wrench and do share and you can choose JPEG and I just do save image just because it's easier but you can be organized and give it a name and all that. But this way you have your page still editable in case you want to make any changes later you can come back and change the text or do stuff to the image or whatever you want. And then later you can take all of those JPEGs and put them together into a PDF. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the series where I'm going to show you how to create a spread, create your PDF, and create your book cover all in Procreate. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave them in the comments, or you can also email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.